was supposed to be a big day for NASA. The space agency had plans for the first test flight of its Orion crew capsule. Instead, Orion sat on the pad at Cape Canaveral, looking majestic, but definitely not going anywhere. Coordinators had to postpone the first launch attempt thanks to a boat that wandered into the exclusion zone in the Atlantic Ocean, where the spacecraft can splash down in the event of an emergency during launch. Then, high winds at the launch pad made it too dangerous to lift off. And finally, a portion of the rocket's fuel pump system stopped working. NASA tried some live troubleshooting, but eventually exhausted Thursday's launch window and declared the mission a scrub. The next attempt will be Friday, just after 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Assuming Orion gets off the ground, it will mark the first U.S. government-sponsored spaceflight mission since the shuttle program ended in 2011. The spacecraft is designed to carry as many as four astronauts, though for this test, it's unmanned. During the flight, it will make two orbits at roughly 3,600 miles high for a total flight time of about 4.5 hours. For this flight test, Orion is riding a Delta IV heavy rocket from United Launch Alliance. It's the highest capacity rocket currently available. NASA will have to use even bigger boosters to get long duration missions into orbit, though. It's designing the space launch system to carry enough fuel and supplies to support jaunts to Mars. Still, the Delta IV will be enough to send Orion farther than any spacecraft designed to carry humans has gone since the Apollo program ended in 1972. Orion will re-enter the atmosphere at around 20,000 miles per hour, another milestone human spacecraft haven't hit since Apollo, and will splash down in the Pacific Ocean with the help of 11 different parachutes. This is the first chance for NASA's scientists to see how Orion's systems perform in the more rigorous environment of space. They'll test its radiation and heat tolerances to make Orion safer for eventual manned flights to the moon and Mars. Those flights won't take place until 2021 at the earliest. NASA plans to run more tests between now and then, including an uncrewed flight to orbit the moon. For Newsy, I'm Sebastián Martínez.